je crie à toi, éternel It Dieu. was a vision started in 1956. A vision to bring the gospel of Christ to the deaf community in Africa. Andrew Foster, who himself was deaf, felt the call of God for this unreached group of people and went to Liberia in search of those who could not hear. He was told by educators and missionaries that there weren't any deaf people, but this really was not true. Deaf people just weren't allowed to be seen. They were kept hidden away in villages, branded as demon-possessed, and used as household servants. But Dr. Foster had a vision. He was going to reach the deaf with the gospel of Christ, and he would open schools and teach them American Sign Language. Today, over 50 years later, and 30 years after the homegoing of Dr. Foster, the vision lives on. It came to life again with a team of six from the deaf community of the Salem Alliance Church. Today, most of the stereotypes still exist. The sadness in the children's faces, the heartbreak of the mothers who were scorned for giving birth to such a child. One mother of a deaf child was told, Our family has never been cursed like this until you came along. Jesus Christ came to open the ears of the deaf, to break the stereotypes, and he has commanded us to do the same. How did the deaf community respond? First of all, they could hardly believe that three members of the team, John, Julie, and Margie, were deaf. The enthusiasm the students demonstrated in the classroom as they intently watched everything and strained to understand, the delight when they figured out a story like the Good Samaritan and could act it out for themselves, the thrill when they were accepted into the Alliance Church on Sunday morning with hands waving in the air, when they could chat over a lunch plate of rice and sauce and see that someone really cared about them, enough to travel halfway across the world to bring them the truth of Jesus Christ. How did families respond? With an openness to share their story to sympathetic listeners, to welcome our team back any time, to ask for prayer even though religious lines were being crossed, and to say thank you for caring about their children. How will Andrew Foster's vision continue? We are hearing of deaf children still hidden away by their families. They need to be reached. He who gave this vision to Dr. Foster will continue to bring others to explain the way, the truth, and the life to those who cannot hear a sermon, a radio broadcast, or a neighbor. Pray that at least one church in our city would be willing to have a ministry to the deaf community. Jesus Christ is the only name by which people can be saved. The message that we have is an urgent message. How can they believe in him if they have never heard of him? And how can they hear about him unless someone tells them? <laughs> Quand tu